Good morning, my dear children. In the last class, we studied about globe and latitudes. So, what is a globe? Globe is a true model of the earth. Globe is a miniature form of the earth. So, what are latitudes? All parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallels of latitudes. Important latitudes are equator 0 degree. Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle. Okay. Equator divides the earth into two equal parts or two equal halves. The Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Equator indicates 0 degree. Tropic of Cancer, 23 and half degree north. Tropic of Cancer, 23 and half degree north. Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and half degree south. Okay. Arctic Circle, 66 and half degree north. And Antarctic Circle, 66 and half degree south. These are the important parallels of latitudes. Next, we have to study heat zones of the earth. The midday sun is exactly overhead at least once a year on all latitudes in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. In between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This area. This area therefore receives the maximum heat. This area receives the maximum heat and is called the torrid zone. Okay, in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This area receives the maximum heat and this area is called the torrid zone. Okay, the midday sun is exactly overhead at least once a year on all latitudes in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This area receives maximum amount of heat. And is called the torrid sun. The midday sun never shines overhead on any latitude beyond the Tropic of Cancer. Beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The angle of the sun's rays are, goes on decreasing towards the poles. The angle of the sun's rays goes on decreasing towards the poles. As such, the areas bounded by the Tropic of Cancer, the areas bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle, Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, have moderate temperature. These areas resist moderate temperatures. These areas therefore called the temperate zones. The north temperate zones and the south temperate zones. Okay, this is the north temperate zone and this is the south temperate zone. Temperate zone means the midday sun never shines overhead on any latitude Beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The angle of the sun's rays goes on decreasing towards the poles. As such, the areas bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere. And the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere have moderate temperature. These areas receive moderate temperatures. And this area is called a temperate zone. Okay. This is the north temperate zone and this is the south temperate zone. Areas lying between the Arctic Circle. Areas lying between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole. Arctic Circle and the North Pole. This area. North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere 
and the Antarctic Circle in the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere are very cold. These areas is very cold. Okay. It is because here the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Therefore, its rays are always slanting and provides less heat. These areas therefore called the frigid zones or cool zones. These areas is the frigid zones or cool zones. So what are frigid zones? Areas lying between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole. Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere. And the Antarctic Circle in the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere are very cold. It is because here the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Therefore, its rays are always slanting and provide less heat. These areas therefore called the frigid zone. Okay, this is the north frigid zone and this is the south frigid zone. Okay, this is the cool zones. So clear? Next, what are longitudes? All semicircles, all semicircles running from all semicircles running from north pole to south pole. North pole to south pole are called the meridians of longitude. Meridians of longitude. Okay, so what are longitudes? All semicircles running from the north pole to south pole are called the meridians of longitude. Zero degree longitude. Zero degree longitude is known as prime meridian. Okay, this line. Prime meridian. Zero degree longitude is known as prime meridian. The prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts or two equal halves. The prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts or two equal halves. This is the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Therefore, the longitude of a place is followed by the letter E for the east and W for the west. Okay, so what are longitudes? All semicircles running from the north pole to south pole. Running from the north pole to south pole are called the meridians of longitude. Zero degree longitude is known as prime meridian. The prime meridian divides the earth into two equal halves or two equal parts. The eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Okay? Clear? Thank you.